This video will show you how to use SPSS to compute the Pearson's correlation coefficients and the Spearman's correlation coefficient. And also will show you how to do the test for zero correlation. The example data can be downloaded in the following web address. This is a data set. In this data set, there is height and weight variable. And we wish to study the linear correlation between these two variables. So we want to compute Pearson's correlation coefficient. Before we do that, we should draw a scatter plot to understand whether the correlation is linear. So you click on Graph, Legacy Dialogues, and Scatter Plot, and choose Simple Scatter. And you can pick one variable for Y, one variable for X, and then click OK. So you see Scatter Plot has a straight line pattern, linear pattern. So when the scatter plot showing the linear pattern, it makes sense to compute the linear correlation coefficient since uh, Pearson's linear correlation coefficient is for understanding the strengths in the direction of linear relation. So we see that there is a strong linear relation that would make sense to compute the linear correlation. So we click analyze, correlate, bivariate, and then pick these two variables, height and weight. And the Pearson box is checked. If you want to compute the Spearman's uh, correlation coefficient, you check on Spearman and then click OK. Then you will get the output one for Spearman's, one for Pearson's correlation. So if you look at this output, the correlation between height and weight, 0.775, this is actually the Pearson's correlation. And the number underneath that is the p-value for testing zero correlation. So this p-value is so small, if we want to test a 5% level of significance, this number is less than 0.05. So we can say, we can conclude that Pearson's correlation coefficient is statistically significantly different from zero. And likewise, if you look at the Spearman's correlation coefficient, it's 0 0.780. And the p-value also for two-sided tests, uh, it's uh, very small, less than 0.05. So again, using Spearman's correlation, we can test zero correlation between the two variables. There's significant evidence to support that the correlation coefficient is statistically significantly different from zero.